velocity of projectile at off of maximum height velocity at off of maximum height means v is equal to you have to write v x i plus v y j off of maximum height vertical velocity already we calculated we already calculated but v y is equal to u sin theta by root 2 and vx is equal to vx is equal to u cos theta u cos theta how we can write this vx is equal to u cos theta means from this equation v equal to u plus ad if you take it along the horizontal direction what is the velocity along the horizontal direction velocity is equal to u cos theta along the horizontal direction velocity is equal to this is ux if you take it u cos theta initial velocity is u cos theta acceleration is zero acceleration is zero because along the horizontal direction along the horizontal direction see i'm telling you here if you observe this diagram if you observe this diagram off of maximum moment at this position this is off of maximum moment if you take it vx is acting along this direction and vy is acting along this direction and this is the resultant velocity so this one we are writing at this position vx horizontal what is the horizontal velocity is nothing but along the horizontal direction velocity is nothing but a u cos theta so initial velocity is u cos theta and moreover actually along the horizontal direction acceleration is zero along the horizontal direction acceleration is zero because or uh, along the horizontal direction it is maintaining uniform velocity it's maintaining uniform velocity so simply no need to extend this equation also simply you can write u x is equal to v x is equal to u cos theta because along the horizontal direction along the horizontal direction it's maintaining uniform velocity uniform velocity so that's why initial velocity is equal to final velocity is equal to u cos theta I've written and v by v by we already got it so magnitude of v magnitude of v is equal to you know formula v x square plus v y square under root of v x square plus v y square that equal to what is v x is equal to v x is equal to u cos theta u cos theta whole square plus what is v y v y is equal to u sin theta by root 2 so u sin theta divided by root 2 whole square that is equal to root 2 whole square now i am writing here v is equal to mag modulus of v bar is equal to under root of u square cos square theta yes u square u square sin square theta divided by root 2 whole square root 2 whole square is the 2 root 2 whole square is the 2 because square and root 2 get cancelled sin square theta i am writing as a 1 minus cos square theta sin square theta is equal to 1 minus sin square theta how we can write from this equation sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 so sin square theta is equal to 1 minus cos square theta from this equation mathematical equation sin square theta is equal to 1 minus cos square theta i want to substitute here if i substitute there modulus of magnitude of v is equal to both said u square is there u square i'm taking common initially u square if i take the common cos square theta cos square theta plus this is nothing but a sin square theta means what you can write 1 minus cos square theta 1 minus cos square theta divided by 2 isn't it now 2 is the lcm now 2 is lcm 2 is LCM means u square if I take from the root that will become as a u because square and root will cancel u. 2 LCM is the 2, LCM is 2, 2 cos square theta plus 1 minus cos square theta divided. So here 2 cos square theta minus cos square theta is equal to v is equal to you can write u into under root of first I am writing 1. 2 cos square theta minus cos square theta is nothing but a plus cos square theta divided by 2. So, velocity at off of maximum height, velocity at off of maximum height, 
V is equal to u into under root of 1 plus square square theta divided by 2. And velocity at vertical displacement, velocity at maximum height is equal to u sin theta by 2. And velocity, total velocity magnitude half of maximum height is equal to v equal to u under root of 1 plus square square. Horizontal projection from the top of the tower. Horizontal projection. See here, vertical projection is different. Horizontal projection is different. Vertical projection means object is projected like this. Horizontal, proje horizontal projection means we are projecting horizontally like this. For your understanding, uh, diagrammatically uh, I will explain here. This is one building. It is one building. It is one building. One person it is, for example, one student or one person, for time first purpose, just is playing with a stone. He thrown one stone along this direction with a velocity u. He just he thrown a one object with a velocity u. Can I ask you one question, children, here? The object will be go like this only. It cannot go like this. It will be comes under the gravitational force in the path of parabolic. In the path of parabolic. It cannot be travel long term like this. It will be comes in a parabolic path under the gravitational force, isn't it? Now, mathematically, we have to derive this equation again. Height of the tower, height of this building is nothing but a h. Height of the tower, it is h, isn't it? Now, this one, we can explain along the horizontal direction and vertical direction. In the both the situations, here, how can I say means, along the horizontal direction, it covers some distance. Along the vertical direction also, it covers distance. So, we have to describe this equation. Uh, we can describe this path along the horizontal and vertical. First, I am writing about horizontal direction along along horizontal direction. Along the horizontal direction, the object is with a velocity u. Initial velocity initial velocity initial velocity is u ok initial velocity is u now what is acceleration 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 a equal to how much can you remember children already I told you in the previous class when object is moving along the horizontal direction it maintains uniform velocity. When it is maintained uniform velocity, acceleration is zero. Acceleration is zero. How we can write that means, you know acceleration is equal to V minus U divided by T. When it is initial velocity, when it is maintained uniform velocity means, initial velocity is equal to final velocity. So this will be, comes as a zero by T. Something by zero is nothing, so zero by something is nothing but a zero. So that's why you have to know it, acceleration is zero. Along the horizontal direction, acceleration is equal to zero. Okay, this one. It covers some distance. It covers some distance along the horizontal direction is x. I'm, try, uh, I'm writing it is from the equation of S is equal to, second equation of the motion, S is equal to ut plus of ut square. X is nothing but x, S is equal to x, u is equal to u, it is projected with initial velocity u, and time is t, acceleration is 0, 0 into something is 0, so that's why u if you take in this set, t is equal to x divided by u, t is equal to x divided by u, that is equation number 1. That is equation number 1. Next situation, vertical. Vertical. Vertical means displacement. What? Displacement is nothing but a y from here to here. It covers some displacement. What is the velocity? Initial velocity. Initial velocity. Initial velocity is 0. Why? Students, initial velocity is 0. Because here, object is moving along the horizontal direction. It is not going like this. This is vertical. This is vertical. This is horizontal. When object is going along this direction, vertical 
velocity is zero. If it is moving along this direction, there is a vertical velocity. But here, vertical it is having only initial velocity. Vertical velocity is zero. So that's why initial velocity along the vertical direction is zero. I've written. Okay. A equal to you know very well. G acceleration is equal to zero. Now the object is falling downward direction. That is acceleration is equal to acceleration due to gravity. I've written a equal to g. From the equation of the second equation of the motion, s is equal to one. S is equal to one. What is initial velocity? Zero. Zero into t also zero plus one by two. A equal to acceleration is z and time. That is equation number two. Substitute equation one. Substitute equation one in equation two. If we substitute equation one in equation two, substitute equation one in equation two. Y is equal to y is equal to one by two, one by two, g into what is the term here? X divided by u. That is x divided by u whole square. Okay. Y is equal to one by two g axis square divided by u square. This equation I can write here. See here. Uh, g divided by 2 u square into x square. This one, if you assume as a k, one constant, y is equal to k x square. This is the parabolic equation. It is the parabolic equation. See here, the trajectory of this path is nothing but a parabolic. That is nothing but a y is equal to k x square. Now, if you want to calculate what is the range, range means from here to, from here to. Where the object reaches the ground, this is nothing but a range. We can call here, is it? What is the range? Range is equal to from this equation again. I am writing here. S is equal to u t plus of a t square. Here s is nothing but a. S is equal to range. I am writing. S is the range that is r. S is equal to range r. And initial velocity u is equal to u one. Initial velocity I am writing. Initial, initial velocity, initial velocity is equal to u. And acceleration, acceleration, acceleration y equal to zero. Why acceleration y equal to zero? Here acceleration y equal to zero means. The range we are the range we are taking along horizontal direction. The range we are taking along horizontal direction. See, the range is along horizontal direction. When object is moving along horizontal direction, acceleration is zero. So that's why acceleration I have taken it is zero. This formula you can write s is equal to r and u is equal to u and t. What is the time t? What is the time t? Time is nothing but a. It is nothing. We can call it is time of descent. This t I am writing as a time of descent. What is the time of descent? Time taken by the body to reach the ground. Time taken by the body to reach the ground from the maximum height is called time of descent. So r is equal to u into time of descent formula to h by g. To h by g. This is h is equal to h is nothing but a height of the tower. H is equal to height of the tower, so R is equal to u into under root of 2 h by g. Okay. For example, if the object is projected, if the object is projected from the building, now the person is not thrown along this direction. If he thrown along this direction, if he thrown along this direction, the path it is will be comes like this. It is making an angle. U is nothing but a with a horizontal. It is making an angle. It is theta. Now the person it is projected along this direction. So at that moment, u is making an angle with the horizontal is theta. So u can be resolved into the two components. One is horizontal component is u cos theta. Vertical component is u sin theta. Vertical component is u cos theta. So u sin theta. Now from the equation, s is equal to U T plus of A T square. S is equal to U T plus of A T square. Now, I'm, what is this? S is equal to S is nothing but a. I can write see here. Uh, I will show it in the diagram. Okay. Along this direction, this is height is 
x. This height is x, isn't it? And from here to here, height is minus x. And this height of the building is minus h. This height of the building minus h. And this cell, along this direction, it attains the height it is x. Now, while it is coming downward direction, I taken it is minus x. Why I have written it is minus x minus h means it is direction is changing. See, here. it is going upward direction. From here, it is coming downward direction. So, one direction I consider as a plus, and opposite direction I consider as a minus minus. So, s is equal to total dis displacement means x minus x minus h x minus x minus h that is equal to this is ui why i am writing ui means the object is projected with a velocity u so it is going upward what is the component of u along the vertical direction u sin theta along the vertical direction velocity is the u sin theta so ui is equal to you can write u sin theta and time is t and time is t plus 1 by 2. What is acceleration? Acceleration is minus z. Acceleration is minus z. Why, am we, are, why we are taking a equal to minus z means the object is projected upward. When object is projected upward means acceleration is equal to negative sign of the negative of the acceleration due to gravity. While you are taking it is upward minus z, downward should be positive because gravity, acceleration due to gravity is the vector quantity so a equal to minus z time is the t square from this one minus x minus x get cancelled minus h is equal to u sin theta t minus into plus minus 1 by 2 g t square finally this equation you can write h is equal to minus if you take a common set h is equal to minus u sin theta t plus of g t square when object is projected, see, when object is projected, when object is projected along horizontal direction, along horizontal direction, the trajectory path is nothing but a parabolic. Mathematically, we prove that one. The range R is equal to u into under root of 2h by g. If the person is not projected like this, if the projected upward direction like this, at that moment, what is the height of the building? Height of the building? h is equal to minus u sin theta t plus of gt square.